So this routine is the hot towel cold stone face routine. It's a 25 minute routine. It has five parts. First is a hot towel. Second is a massage sequence. Third is a cold stone face sequence. Then we have a second hot towel, finally finishing with a cold towel. We put a couple drops of lavender on the first and second towels to apply. There is a mini version of this session and it, what's removed is we do the hot towel, we do the uh, cold stone quickly, there's no massage sequence, and then second hot towel and cold, uh, the final cold towel. And that's really just a taster, and if people like that, it's, it's best to have them come for the full version, which we're going to demonstrate next. So our first step is the hot towel. So we take a moist towel out of the hot cavity. You'll see some steam. It's quite warm. Make sure you shake it out a little bit so it's not too warm. And then we want to grab the diagonal corners, like so. Those two little nibs will be at the bottom. Then we want to tuck our hands so our hands will be in a facing the floor position. And then we can uh, turn them up to the ceiling. So think of carrying like a, a tray. We come over to our client. And we don't need to say anything. We don't especially need to set up any negative associations like, ooh, this towel is hot. If you can hold a towel, it's not too hot for the client. So we touch down, we give them a sense of the heat to come. Touch down a couple times, and now we drop the towel just above the nostrils, and then we wrap, wrap, and as long as you leave the nostrils free to breathe, try to cover as much of the face as you can, and pat down. Try to transfer that heat. Transfer that heat to the skin. Just a, a do not that I'll warn you about. Sometimes I see therapists do this. They'll come down and they'll touch, and they'll touch. And then the bottom part of the towel will be too low, and they'll get caught on the head. And then they'll try to wrap. And as you can see, this doesn't turn into anything. You really have to drop it down just above the nostrils. And then wrap. And then wrap. An alternative, if you like, is to bring the towel down when it's hot in the lower decollete neck area and then come underneath the nostril, and then wrap, wrap. So that's just an alternative. Both ways are perfectly fine. So our first step was to apply a hot towel. The second step is to apply the hand and stone massage sequence. And this sequence is a logical sequence. It moves from the décolleté up to finish at the forehead and the top of the face. This is the hand and stone signature uh, sequence, so please do it in this order, and you'll see that it's quite logical as it progresses. So if you need a little bit of oil, you would have probably done a massage at this point. Uh, there may be some lubricant remaining, but if you need, you can add a little bit more. And we're going to cover the area so that we have sufficient oil. I don't typically put any on the face. It's not necessary. So our first stroke is just the standard massage stroke. Each of these strokes will be six, seven, eight times, done in a nice, relaxed manner. So general affarage, stroke number one. Stroke number two, I'm going to use my hand like a scoop. So I'm going to come underneath and I'm going to scoop the neck, tractioning it back, and then I'm going to replace it with the other hand in an alternating fashion. So it looks like this. Notice how my thumbs and my fingers support the head. So you don't, sometimes I see therapists, they're a little bit sheepish, and they do the technique like this. You can get right in there, apply a good amount of force. I like to plant my foot underneath the table, get a little bit of leverage using my lower body. Provide a little bit of traction. So that's stroke number two. Stroke number three, we're going to fan the face. So think of the midline of the face, and we're going to use as much surface area of our hand as we can, and we're going to fan up the side of the face. Make sure you get that hammock of muscles underneath here in your past. So get that hammock of muscles under the jaw. Notice I'm using as much surface area of my hand as I can, alternating left and right. 
Stroke number four is almost the same, except we're doing it on one side of the face, hand over hand. And the other side. Feel free to use your stool, which typically will be on rollers to give you a little bit of positioning. So that's stroke number four. Stroke number five, we're going to massage in through the jaw and the cheeks. And we'll finish with the ears. The ears are all part of stroke number five. Now in your massage manual, you'll read about knuckle rolling, and that looks like this. So instead of using the finger pads, you can do a little bit more of a firmer technique by rolling the knuckles on these very strong muscles of conversation and of chewing. So recap of the first five strokes, general effleurage. Second stroke was the scoop. Third stroke, we were fanning the face, alternating left, right. Use as much surface area as you can, left, right. Fourth stroke was almost the same as number three, in that we have stroking, we're fanning the face, but we're alternating hand over the hand on one side of the face and then the other. Finally, stroke number five, working with the finger pads or the rolling knuckles and through the cheeks, the jaws, and finishing with the ears.